Porsche was not the first automotive manufacturer to bring a dual clutch transmission, or DCT, to the production market. But when it did debut its own version as an option in the 911 series in 2008, it changed the world of shifting. Other manufacturers' DCTs of the early 2000s were hesitant, jerky, and prone to overheating. But the Porsche Doppelkupplungsgetriebe, or PDK, gave drivers a smoother, high-performance option. To be fair, Porsche started development of PDK in the 1960s and won the 1986 World Sports Prototype Drivers' Championship with an early version of PDK. This racing history would lay the foundation for the PDK's ability to outperform the competition. However, the lack of mass production technology for wet clutches, valves, and electronics stalled the PDK's jump from track to road. When it did finally make the leap in the mid-2000s, Porsche partnered with ZF to create the production PDK, the 7DT. Over three years, and with input from 300 ZF engineers, the PDK took shape. Like most dual-clutch transmissions, the PDK is built around two manual subtransmissions. One shaft holds the odd-numbered gears, while the other holds the even-numbered gears. To minimize weight and size, one shaft is nestled inside the other, which is known as a concentric shaft design. Performance brands used a wet clutch to handle more torque than DCTs with a dry clutch, which also permitted the transmission to handle higher temperatures because the oil kept the clutch cool. ZF and Porsche took that cooling a step further. They separated the compartments for the clutch pack and the gears, which allowed them to use optimal lubricants for each. That is how the PDK could handle revs up to 8,000 RPM, way above the limits of the competition. Of course, Porsche also wanted to create shifts that were faster than anyone else's. Each manufacturer's DCT had the same basic technology. While one gear was engaged, the next one, on the opposite drive shaft, was ready and waiting. But Porsche and ZF created a new proprietary speed governing concept to ensure the gears shifted at lightning speed, creating a smooth experience for the driver. Inside the PDK, this process used sensors to monitor temperature, speed, pressure, and distance. Outside the transmission, the Transmission Control Unit, or TCU, contained software that provided an adaptive shift strategy. This strategy adjusted for road conditions, vehicle data, and how the vehicle was being driven. If the system sensed acceleration, it cued a higher gear for the next shift. If the system sensed deceleration or braking, it cued a lower gear. And Porsche built it to respond quickly, adapting to fast driving or slow cruising. None of this is to say that the first iteration of the PDK was perfect. It wasn't. It was, however, miles ahead of the competition due to Porsche's precision application of the technologies. And, true to its nature, Porsche has continued to refine the system through the years, seeking the next level of performance because, after all, there is no substitute. Thank you for watching.